I'm going to share how to create this life lapse video where there's regular video on the right and then a stop motion video on the left and it's all blended together and looks seamless and I'm even overlapping the scenes. So for context, here's how that will look inside of life lapse, just so you know how we're sh why we're shooting the way we are. The stop motion is only on the first part of the video as a second layer, and then that layer stops, which is how I'm able to overlap. We're creating this video inside of our app life lapse. You're gonna press the big plus sign at the bottom and then create a new project and choose life lapse. And how we're gonna shoot this is you set your scene up, you put your phone in a tripod or place it against a water bottle or put it into a mug, it's important that you don't move the phone as you're shooting. It's important you lock your exposure and white balance so the lighting isn't changing as you're moving things in and out. And unlike a traditional stop motion where you're taking individual photos, we're actually shooting all of this in one shot. So push record once the exposure and auto white balance is locked and we're going to shoot the stop motion portion first. Because as I mentioned, the chair slides in and we're going to walk into the scene. So for this one, it is important that we do the stop motion portion first. You can see as I'm moving things in and out that I do have a shadow from my body. So I'm stepping back far away to make sure that shadow isn't getting into the shot. So I move an item, I step back really far, and then rinse and repeat. Now once the chair is fully slid in, I'm going to go over to the other side of the video and I'm going to water the plants. Again, this is all still rolling, so we're not taking photos and then merging multiple shots together. You're just doing this all in one big long shot. And then once I'm done watering the flowers, I go sit in the chair and take my sip of coffee and then my dog comes up. After you've done the one shot, this is where Life Lapse magically puts everything together for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to extract the stop motion portion of your video from the one clip that we took. So you're going to scroll across the bottom, take a photo of the first scene. So for me, it's when everything is completely empty. And then as the table is showing a little bit and so on and so forth until the chair is in its final position. Next, we're going to trim the regular part of the video. So that's me watering the flowers and then walking into the chair. So you just drag the slider across. Um, I know I shot this at towards the end of the video, so I'm just dragging it all the way there until I get it. And once you've extracted the stop motion and trimmed the regular part of the video, you will be brought to our editor where you can click on the layer one regular video and mask the stop motion. So here is where you're going to draw on where the stop motion is to reveal it. So use the yellow mask. I do recommend feathering it a little bit so that it blends more seamlessly with the lighting. Here's what the video looks like after I've masked it. And you're thinking, okay, what the heck is going on? The chair keeps moving back and then I freaking disappear. <laughs> so this is where we are gonna click on the move icon. So when you have the stop motion layer selected, there's a move icon. And you can see on the top layer, there are these little um, cycle icons, the arrows in a circle. You can drag your timeline so that it will snap to that. And that those icons, those are one full cycle of your stop motion. And because we're having the chair come in and I'm going to sit in it, I don't want it to like cycle back and forth. I just want it to come in once. So just use that feature to snap it into place. I'm going to refine this life lapse even more. So I don't want the chair to slide in the second that I push play. So I would like a one second pause before it slides in. So I'm going to go to my timeline editor and I'm going to create a freeze on that first clip. So what I'm doing is I'm holding it down, selecting freeze and then one second. If you want to increase the freeze further, you can just duplicate the frame a bunch of times to the next frame. What that is doing is when you're pushing play, it's just playing that same frame over and over again so that it looks like it's frozen. And I'm also going to do this to the end clip. Let's talk about fade in and fade out. So when you are on the move tool inside of life laps and you click on those sunshine things on either side, you can have the stop motion layer fade in or out so that it is more seamless with the lighting. For this to be effective, you do need to create a freeze wherever you are doing your fade in and fade out. Otherwise, this is gonna happen. It's gonna start to fade in as it's still moving in. So go back to your timeline, create a freeze on that last frame, 
and then the fade in will happen over the freeze and it won't look weird that it's disappearing as it's moving in. In case it wasn't obvious from seeing me in all the tutorials, we have a very small team at Life Labs. So if you found value in this free tutorial, I would love if you left a review in the App Store. All you do is go to the App Store listing, scroll down and click write review. Writing a review takes less than 30 seconds and will make a huge impact on our small business. Thank you so much for downloading our app. If you have any feedback for the app, we would love to hear from you. Please feel free to reach out to us on social media or you can email us at support at